Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Fireside Cast. I'm Zach, joined in the booth, not by Bong Gripper today. Uh, I'm not sure where they are, but uh, we have Sayo in as their replacement, uh, maybe for now, maybe for the for the whole duration. I guess we'll find out. But um, <laughs> we're we're covering the uh, the Newbie Cup Eight exhibition match, the show match, whatever you want to call it. We got longtime classic team. Federal Hot Dog Committee versus a team of a couple coaches that have just kind of pulled themselves together and decided, let's let's make this show match happen. So we, we have two 5CP maps. I think this is a best of three series. So uh, I don't know if we'll go through all three maps just for funsies or if it'll be, you know, whoever wins two maps wins two maps and then it's over. But we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, I'm pretty excited. How are you feeling about this today, Shia? I wish I could be ripping some bong. No, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> going to be ripping some bongs. But I am excited because we've been covering the past TF2 Coaching Central Cups, for, I would say, since December 2023. Yeah, we've been doing it for... No, no, no. Actually, maybe even more than that. December 2022. So we've been doing this whole shtick for the past four three cups and it's been a staple now on fireside to be able to cover the tf2 coaching central events but now we're going to be covering the show matches which we haven't done before zach but i'm very excited to see what these coaches and the fhc who recently played an im have to offer yeah i think it'll be pretty interesting i know the people from fhc relatively well i mean yeah, half of my land team, or not even half, uh, five of the six players on my land team back in 2023 at the Philly land was FHC. So uh, they're they're pretty good players. They know what they're doing. Uh, I think the thing that kind of separates them the most from a lot of other teams is that they play fun while also being mechanically skilled. You know, they don't have too much of a stake, I guess. Like They're missing the glue, though. Yeah. They're missing the glue. They're missing Shelzer. Yeah, they don't have Shelzor, which is that that's that's something I was kind of surprised about. And I saw for the I I, I saw the uh the roster uh image here, and I think Shelzor's not gonna be here for Process Snake, but they will be here for nine thirty or nine nine o'clock. whenever that match starts, they'll be there for it. At least that's what this uh that's what this chart is saying. So Yeah. I, I, mean, I guess we'll see. I, I recognize, like, I think at least, like, nine or ten players in the server, and I could probably go down their, like, highest level of XP, like, based off memory. But I think <laughs> Neil, Shaq, Vids, Average, they're, they've all played IM, and I Average actually just played in main. I don't know if they made playoffs, so I know that for the side of Federal Hot Dog Committee. So we have some, like, m low to mid IM players and, like, one or two main players in No No Way and Average, so that's, like... So I got five of the six. I don't know Rick Sullivan's uh, experience. And then on the other side, that's Flugel, a.k.a. Uncanny. Just played in main with Jaguar Squad. Didn't mm. do too hot. We got Jukesy. I think that's an IM Sixes player. Adwill played on the uh, fabled XLR team. Didn't do that's like a low to mid main team right off the bat. Blood Machine. Just played in main playoffs, I think, with the Soup Can team. So that's a ma main playoffs player there and i we got saf so that's a player who just played in im playoffs last season i believe with crops so mm. we got we, we got a, we got very low experience but they seem to concentrate around the uh, mid im to low main mar arc yeah i i think i, I i'm kind of surprised to to see some of these some of these people in here i wouldn't figure that they would be up to play a show match just because it's something a bit odd but uh that said we are going to be going live here uh on the first map we're going to be covering process didn't even get to go over the roster so i guess we'll uh we'll take a little gander at those uh maybe when there's halftime or whatever but uh immediately uh Red is on crits here. I believe this is the uh, coaching team. Uh, FHC coming out through the choke here a little bit slower than the coaches here, actually, all things considered. Juxi looking for an angle maybe to try and get in. He's playing on top of uh, uh, of uh, awning there. Not really able to find anything. Blood Machine going to be able to find that pick on a Rixel. And that's going to be no, no way. Finding a pick on a flu ball. High Bomb does come in ah, from Adwell. He is going to get taken down, though. 
or average is going to get taken down, sorry. And that is going to be a full team wipe for Federal Hot Dog Committee here. No, no way the last man standing. Will they be able to get out? No. The answer is no. They died. You, you kind of see with, with the bomb from Adwell there that the coaches play that really well. You bomb off a soldier, you try to... You try to corral all the players from the from the enemy team, which was blue, with the Adwell bomb, and they all focused down to kill him. They just weren't aware of the fact that Adwell's teammates were just walking forward, so Blood Machine caught a pretty easy 3k with the sticky pipe combo. That's a sealed mid, and they popped Chris inadvertently, but Finn's hero accidentally walks through the shutter door, despite knowing the Chris is out, and Blood Machine's gonna find a 5k so far in the round. And continuing on to Rick, so both soldiers, soldiers down. I mean, a demo and a soldier down, and there's only going to be... Oh my god, the spawn oh from Jukesy! On to average, and I think that's going to be a quick first rep for the coaches, Zach. Yeah, th this is what I was talking about, where I, I figured they might have chosen a couple different uh, players for the cup, because, you know, some people, you ask who Jukesy is, they say, he goes in with the spoon, and only the spoon. And other people... We'll talk about how he, they just nuke everything. So it is literally the most, like, polar opposite all of the time. Like, you have no idea what to expect from him. But that said, uh, that's going to be FHC opting to play a right side mid here. They immediately take down Doro. Shaq going to be able to find that pick. It's going to be Jupsy bombing in from behind with the help of Flugel. They're going to be able to find that pick onto Average and Vids Hero. Uh, Rixulin going to be able to find uh, Flugel here. It's three, four players down. Oh! <laughs> Blood Machine! Poor Blood Machine got knocked up into the corner of Red Choke, and uh, that's going to be a one mid for FHC here. Definitely uh, turning things around from what we saw last time. That's one of the things that kind of goes against you when you do a double bomb mid, is that if you have, if you your soldiers don't get to find too much impact and they die immediately to the scouts from No No Way and Neil, it's going to be very hard for the rest of your team to follow up, because once that distraction is gone they can focus on the rest of the players that are trying to walk forward and play off the soldiers impact so the coaches did not find their luck there as they did in the first round and i think we can see an immediate answer ba back just slight pause i was just a bit confused there but they will have to work against this i don't know if they're going to try to go on the small ad actually but they should know it is about 20 to 30 unless it's artificial and saf from red or the coaches just wasn't building yeah, I don't know if they. Kn I don't know if FHC knows that Saf was not building here. I don't know if they kind of like. I, I have no idea if they, okay, they know that, but they do. So they're going to walk oh, in and take this. Do? Uber's at 90% for Saf here. They only drop, never mind, they drop Adwill and Flugel here. A Vids Hero is going to go down, so having no demo is pretty important. Neil's going to be going down here as well. It's just Saf standing on top of the point, uh, completely denying everyone from FHC uh, any any space at all here. Uh, kind of attached to a soldier and a scout there. Oh, kind of textbook that you'd like to see. Yeah, Jukesy going a little too far forward. They're going to get punished for it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if it was his team being slow or if he was too fast, uh, whatever it was, but uh, Blood Machine going to be able to find that pick onto Shaq there, which is super beneficial. And it's, for, bad, for uh, demo. it's bad to have the demo down because now you don't have sticks on point, but they're going through the doorway that the soldier from Red is oh, watching. No. But there's a scout on the point, and when you have a demo down, Zach, it's really hard to hold last because yeah. that demo can watch more than one doorway, right? So. And also be able to stick points. So that scout just walked into the point knowing that Blood Machine was dead end. It was a quick and fast round for the FHC off of that recommit. And it also, it also depends on kind of how you're holding that last. If you're just holding it right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what they just did, but. Um... Well, timeout, timeout. <laughs> We lost the round that we weren't supposed to. The script is not writing the way it was supposed to be um, written. <laughs> this is awkward. But, uh, <laughs> coaches rage quit or something. I don't know. What's this um, mean for the coach's legacy? <laughs> but, yeah, like you were saying, having no demo, uh, holding last is, like, one of the worst things that could happen to you when you're trying to set up a last hold. And that goes for any map. You, you can apply the same logic to something like Granary. If you don't have your demo or something, like even at least like old, it's just a tale as old as time. If you don't have your demo, your last hold is probably going to suck just because he locks down so many doorways simultaneously and he does, he puts out so much damage. He can, he can trap off the point. It's just, it makes no sense to not push in when the other team is down their demo. It just, mm, it's rough. Well, that was rough for the coaches there. 
for those who are just watching and are just wondering, like, this is like their one of their first viewing experiences for competitive sixes, and they're wondering why we're so emphatic on the demo men being alive is that usually when teams run counter sacks or they run sacks, which means like they'll throw one body to try to kill the medic and get a force because uber charges the quintessential portion of how the meta and sixes is, is played. If you lose that demo though, as a defender, you lose the ability to lock on multiple choke points, as Zach has said. So that being said, because the demo man has eight stickies, you could put four stickies on the door on one doorway and another doorway. And the default hold for process is when you're in lobby and you're the demo man, you can put traps towards the three and four door, which is like middle doorways between the ramps on last. And once he goes down and you don't have a sentry up, it gives the enemy team. It gives the team pushing into last multiple avenues to try to work in, to try to get their soldier in, and not have to worry about sticky traps blind, blindly hitting them on the entrance into last. So that gives you a lot of avenues to pressure in as the team pushing into last, and it gives the enemy team a run for their money because now they have to scramble and figure out where to position themselves with the loss of their demo to try to not get their medic force. So, in essence, when a demo is down and it's a 5v6 scenario and the demo man is the defending demo from the enemy team, it's much easier for you to try to force their medic and get that uber charge off. Absolutely. And, and another thing is that that time it takes for your team to kind of figure out where they want to position themselves is definitely... It, it, it takes a, a lot of time, especially when, you know, your team isn't uh, used to it. If you're, if you're a newer team, it definitely takes a lot of adjusting. Uh, once you lose your demo, you kind of have to move your soldiers around. You know, you can't have your soldier really sitting in heaven anymore to spam the doorways because it's just not as effective. You know, you either have to give up all that space or you have to play forward and just hope they don't walk into you and you can wait for your demo to respawn. So it's definitely... Exactly. It's... It's it's a hard situation. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place when you lose your demo. You know, no matter the situation, 99% of the time, no demo, you kind of just lose. But um, coming off of that, both of these demos coming in on the mid. Speaking of losing demos, uh, old blood machine almost getting taken down here. Juicy landing on top of Vids here, but is going to be taken down, uh, I believe, by Shaq there. Uh, very Watch nice to have if you are on Federal Hot Dog Committee. Adwill coming out from Red Sewer, trying to get an angle, but it's going to be no-no way, finding a nice meat shot onto him. The Med getting caught inside of Blue Sad Corner. Saf here uh, trying to escape, but uh, try as they might, they are going to be caught out there. They are going to be taken down, and that is going to be full Uber ad for the side at Federal Hot Dog Committee, and also converting a second mid uh, in their favor. So what Juicy did there at the start of the mid was a fast rollout, which is when you go through rollout and there's the uh, skip jump that you could do on the spire on point, and then you could jump across through the ramp. But it doesn't work out for you if you Ooh, die. Oh, that Uber's coming through mid. one. Oh, Pudis gets taken down here. Very detrimental if you're on the side of uh, the coach's team right now. Flugel getting caught out in the spawn, and the entirety of the coaching team is stuck inside the spawn. They're just getting locked down. They're not able to rotate out. Both sides are getting uh, stuffed, and unfortunately for the coaching team here, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to. Uh, hold on to that round so this is going to make it two to one in favor of federal hot dog committee here and you know given the config mess up uh trust trust our judgment when we say it's two to one uh, the 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 hud elements might be a little bit iffy you can see what happens when you lose the mid instantly if you get full whipped on the mid it's very easy to lose a round in a matter of a minute or two as you saw right there losing your medic and full uber advantage gives the team such a humongous advantage in the round Absolutely. And coming off of that as well, it looks like Federal Hot Dog Committee is kind of stuck inside their choke, but at the same time, so is the coaching team. Neither team really wants to push out and do anything. Juxy's getting bombed onto. It's going to be no, no way. Finding that pick on the blood machine. Shaq yeah. going to be able to find Saf. What a beautiful rocket there. Flugel going to be able to take out Shaq in revenge. And notice though. how FHC uh, are turtling up around their medic. Absolutely. This is something you've got to do. You've got to anticipate the counter sack which it looks like they want to start getting to work here soon, but they're not going to let it- Oh no! my goodness! Adwill bombs in and hits a downward mid-air direct onto Average, making Federal Hot Dog Committee drop, and they still technically lost this mid, so they don't even get the forward spawner to help them out, and that's two players, uh, I believe Saf and Blood Machine, alive inside of their choke. Oh, oh and he's going to be able to find that pick onto Neil as well, red like a book uh very 
very scrappy mid, not necessarily textbook, I would say, but, um, hey, it worked out for, uh, FHC for a little while, it worked out for the coaches oh, for a little while. Oh my god, oh my Admiral! Goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> You saw it coming from a mile away. One of the things that Adwell is oh, is oh wait, Adwell wants more. He wants wait, something smooth. Wait. Maybe overheating just uh, a little bit, but I love Adwell. He's a flashy player. Does work against him a lot, but oh, blood machine with a nice pipe on a shack, but does not get that kill. But the flank has flooded in from IT, and they're gonna single out average, oh, and, and the average. medic is dead yet again, not catching a break in this round, Zach. Yeah, FHC is too focused, or was too focused on mid there. I feel like they were too worried about people in front of them, you know, coming in when they really should have just worried on, uh, worried about, you know, making sure their beam lived there because it, it was not looking good for average. They were getting pummeled by like four different damage sources all at once. They didn't even get a chance to react to it. So unfortunately, FHC is going to be sitting here at even Ubers. Uh, compared to the coaches team here but for the coaches this gives them a little bit of breathing room gives them a little bit of time to figure out what they want to do how they want to hold this uh hopefully they choose to hold every last uh, inch and uh not give it up without a fight you know that would make for great casting but uh i, I guess hmm. uh, i guess we'll see Oh, and we see Adwell going for a high bomb and trying to sink. So what Adwell is trying to do is he's trying to do a timing bomb. He's anticipating that the demo man is going to walk forward and try to apply some pressure by spamming pipes to the choke point. So what he's hoping is by the time he times that bomb, he's going to sink and land on the demo man. But no, no way. He looks like a Chad Uber here. This is going to be an exchange. Yes, yeah, exchange is coming out on top of the point. Average, or sorry, Saf and uh, Blood Machine with the better positioning though on top of that high ground. Bits is going to be able to find that pick onto Adwill, and that's going to be a repulsed push from the side of coaches. That's going to be, I believe, that's Ad or sorry, Jukesy. Jukesy. He's all the way in the behind. But now, uh, Saf's now dead, the coaches are down three players. The beam is dead. That's going to be Flugel able to find this way in onto Average. No, no way going to be able to pick up Flugel. Look for Jukesy though. And Blood Machine. Jukesy coming in from behind, very weak. Oh, He's going to get taken in forever. Pipe from bids and the kaboom taunt gonna come out that's fhc with full player ad essentially just able to walk on into last and that's exactly what they're doing bids here are setting up the sticky the point yeah they do have spawners that's gonna be a bomb forward admiral landing right on top of the sticky sap gonna be walking in the last man able to defend the point and he's gonna get taken down as well and that's gonna be a third round in the hands of fhc making it three to one they have synergy. Remember, these team, these players on the Federal Hot Dog Committee have played together for multiple seasons. May, there is a few subs here and there, but the overall roster core is still the same as it's been. They've been from, they've risen from the literal bottom of RGL, and they, they've made it to IM together. So that synergy yeah. is still there, it seems. And and imagine this is what they're doing without the shells were here. Now imagine what's going to happen when they get there. Uh, that said, that's going to be uh, Rick Sarland bombing in, going to be able to find that pick onto Blood Machine here. Google going to be able to take down both Rick Sarland and Shaq uh, for their troubles, though. Actually going to be able to find that third pick onto Neil. Juxi bombing forward, trying to land on top of Average. He's gonna, she, uh, they're going to take themselves down. Uh, no, no way. The last man standing, uh, FHC, getting collapsed from all directions here. Not looking good for him on this mid, and they are going to lose it, uh, unfortunately, for the uh, FHC fans. So now that there's full ad, oh, as Adwell does try to go for a sink, and he might find out that there are two soldiers here trying to peek. He's going to go for a spoon, but he's going to jump away. One of the things that's really underrated in the uh, North American competitive scene is the use of the Mark Gardner, as Adwell and Jukesy have displayed on stream for us, is that it's really easy to find an inadvertent pick if you have really good jumping mechanics and straight mechanics to hit that Mark Gardner for a 195 melee. Absolutely, and I mean... If you can make the gardener work, I don't see why, you know, not to run it. If, if you're just going in for a play or something, especially if it's like an exhibition cup like this, you know, get silly, get goofy with it, you know what I mean? Pull out the gardener, pull out the spoon, hit the Soapy Meister Chinese military shovel bind every time you get a kill. It's, it's always fun to just pull out the gardener especially with that minus 195 but as we're saying this blood machine going to be bombing in able to find that pick onto vids here the gun is going to get taken down as well which is crucial uh for you know, the coach's team to kind of restructure a push but they're actually not going to commit to it they take down vids here but they don't stay in for the main uber uh 
like fight itself, but they do come in for a dry, and that's going to be Blood Machine knocked up into the air, not taken down though. No, no way, Shaq and Vids here are still dead. Vids just now spawning in. Will they be able to spawn up in time? It's going to be Juxi on top of the point, getting about halfway, and it looks like FEC might be able to hold here. It's oh, Sap Vids here is going Machine nuclear. Walking forward, Vids is absolutely decimating the enemy team here. Rick's only going to be able to get in off the damage from Dix Hero and uh, take down Blood Machine. Saf is able to get out on the bright side for the coaches. The Ubers are still practically perfectly even. So, I, I mean... It was a good call. It was, a good it call. was definitely a really good call. I, I was I was thinking it was iffy at first, but they then it came point too together. Much. Like, too many players from, from the coaches just tried to play point together. They took the same damage, which allowed Vids Hero to win that last hold. As we see, FHC just taking that momentum and taking mid. And they could ride into second because they have, there's no soldiers. It's just Blood Machine. He's too low. Oh, Vids Hero with a sick, oh, sticky jump. Oh, the Uber comes out They're gonna inside find of FHC. Med, but there's Uber. Oh, no. They find the beam, but both Ubers end up coming out. I think that's going to be average taken down. Admiral going to find that nice rocket onto Rick Sarlin as well. No, no way. And Shaq doing God's work here. Able to get some picks. But I don't think it's gonna matter all that much. That's gonna be oh, Shaq, Shaq landing on top of what he's gonna be landing on top of Sap. He's 13 HP. He's fighting the demo 1v1 though. Melee battle. He almost loses surf. and dies. What a crazy surf from the staff there. Able to get from the low ground up she would have cratered. to the point. Yeah, she would have cratered like instantaneously. She would have died if she hadn't hit that, like that uh, simply put goated surf onto the point. But it's also on heal from FHC. You gotta clean up when the meta is that low. Just wasn't able to get past Blood Machine though. So props to Blood Machine. Gotta give him his flowers just as much as Seth has been given her flowers. So yeah, it's looking pretty good for the coaches here. They're sitting on about I would say this is about twenty-ish ad. I mean, it might look more like. 25 15 when they actually use actually it's going to be looking like 10 because they don't even use it's actually not even going to be add at all they're going to get in for free on two i think fhc uh over anticipated a little bit oh, well, they but the come pop, back in. yeah the pop from fhc is so much better uh they're actually going to be able to take down flugel and blood machine so with no demo no scout they kind of have to give up all of the space they might not even be able to hold mid at will dying as well in the back line that's a late spawn Talk about why late spawners are so detrimental to team here in just a little bit once this fight dies down. Juxi almost caught out in the sewer, and uh, man, that's rough. Adwill, if you notice the uh, spawn timers on the uh, either side of the screen here, I believe the coaches are on the right side. If you notice the spawn timers, Adwill had a 20 second respawn time. He was eight seconds away from all of his other teams. Uh, that's That said, it is Flugel up on the sniper so we'll be able to see if uh, anything crazy comes out adwell gonna be taken down blood machine binding that pick on the no no way and now it's two players down for the side of the federal hot dog committee gonna have to leave second uh might be able to hold mid here though one thing you'll notice weird about these demo demos is that their primary is is the default grenade launcher and the iron bomber the iron bomber was pretty prevalent but it's been kind of replaced in the na meta by the lock and load and the reason for that is despite the uh my the uh, less than one clip size in the mag it's just so op that it can just lob football pipes and just hit you inadvertently when you least expect it there's a reason i call lock pipes from across the map hail mary pipes i mean <laughs> oh wait a minute that's gonna be no no way on sap they're gonna be able to find the force the counter pop comes out from the side of fpc and they're pinching they're pinching right now sap is leaving the right he alone it's just a scout with the google's not able to protect them at all and now it's blood machine and uh, adwill inside of sewer they might not be able to take down adwill or blood machine here actually blood machine is gonna get taken down neil's gonna be bursting for blood he's gonna find his way in it's gonna be adwill while trying to bomb forward onto no no way it's not going to work out for him and uh now the coach team down about 40 percent uber time. yeah they had mid this whole time which is kind of shocking i i'm not sure how the coaches never managed to uh take that but hey man i'm just you just, you just, you just lose track of <laughs> Track of the game, you just lose. Yeah. You want to take it so aggressively that you run ahead of your own tempo that you want to play it, and you forget the most basic parts of five CP, which is you got to cap the points. Yeah, you 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 have to get on those. I mean, you need to 
there, there's a plethora of reasons why you need to. You need to get forward spawns. You need to extend match time. There's so many reasons. I mean, and at the end of the day, you just have to do it to win. That's going to be Vitz Hero getting pushed from the side by Doro. He is going to get taken down here. Jupsy on 20 HP going to end up cratering. Now it's two players down from the coach's team. Vitz Hero is dead, though. No demo for the side of the Federal Hot Dog Committee. They're trying to get up into heaven. Ooh, nice pipe, pipe coming out from, uh, I believe that is going to be Blood Machine. Nice pipe coming out from Blood Machine there. Uh, going to be completely denying that push from No No Way. Shaq and Vitz Hero being down as well means that federal hot dog committee push is completely beefed it's beans they gotta go and you can see the, the threatening stance a demo man has on last one. you have a six on point your your work with the uber is that you have to blast the sickies away and really it was a misplay by fhc to not shoot off that corner of the point but watch the no no way sniper here in sewer does get spotted has to Ooh. settle for a body shot onto the scout and there's gonna be the co combo going in through chook but i think no no way has a chance Admiral's to get a high bombing, here. landing on awning, getting on to the sniper here. I think No No Way is going to get taken down. Yes, he will. He is actually, uh, Flugel is going to be able to find uh, Rick Sarlin as well. Uh, it is three players down for the side of, excuse me, three players down for the side of the Federal Hot Dog Committee. And uh, now it's going to be the coaches team pushing in with about 15% ad. I don't think they're going to use here. Uh, but wait a minute, they have three spawners. The recommit is coming this out. Is it's going to be a bomb coming forward from Rick Sarlin. They're going to be able to find Sap. No, no way is going to take them down. Shaq is going to find Flugel. Shaq is going to find Blood Machine. It's a complete 180. And they only capitalize off of that because the rest of the team from the coaches were segmented. There were only half of the actual team on second there. And... Call it what you will, that's really ballsy to make. I would have never done that had I known Blood Machine was going to trap the forwards, but Blood Machine did not trap the forwards, unfortunately. Yeah, Blood Machine not having that foresight. I mean, I can't blame him. I wouldn't expect the team to do that to me either, but I don't think uh, Federal Hot Dog Committee knows about Adwill being in sewer. He's exercising crazy trigger discipline. They don't even know. He's got a free line right onto the beam. He's the yeah. Adwill hitting that free garden onto Shellsor. And Blood Machine getting air shot by one of the soldiers on FHC. And then cleaned up by No No oh, Way. So it doesn't even matter. Lobby. Oh, oh no. this is going to be. This is it's feast. Not. This is a feast for the coaching team here. If they just play their cards right, they could get out for free. They find No No Way. Shaq is going to be able to find Doro, though. It's just Neil alone in lower. Con out in Valley going to be taken down as well. And now the push from FHC into the coach's last is canceled. They can't do anything anymore. They got to get out of there. They're going to go. You can see the... All the kind of things you can do in competitive TF2 sixes. And Whoa, oh, Adam, it's so okay, going in. Shaq! Shaq, wait, watch Shaq! Oh, wait he got stalwarted. He could have gotten that uh... medic with the me Wait, no, no, no. I think Rick Sarlin wanted to go for that follow-up, but at the eyes against two scouts? I think I No No Way is kind of caught ball. up here. I'm not sure. Uh, no No Way looks to be... Well, looked to be a little bit that caught right there, but I guess we're going to be able to get than, out. That could have been way worse than for FHC than how it actually turned out. They could have lost Absolutely. way more there. I think they were playing with fire there by staying in that tiny little doorway in sewer. Or sorry, IT, not sewer, IT. Uh, sitting in that tiny little doorway. But speaking of sewer, uh, it looks like the coach's team wants to take this push oh, either through the Al Qaeda shot. or uh, through just wow, Shutter. Just balls enough for us there. Man, living on, what was that, like 57 HP or something? Red health, no force. That dude has faith in his scouts. Like, like faith we have never seen before. Here we go, Ricks. Ricks Here we go. Oh, getting no, in. Oh, the drop. He Ain't gets no the way. rocket, the downward direct on the SAF, and that's going to make it a drop. Uh, Ain't no now, way. Coaches have no more Uber. FHC just needs to wait for their spawner. Rick Zarlin Look at these two scouts for, for coaches. They wanted to pressure for a bad cap, but they've been spotted out by the flank in IT, so... You have to call it off and try to hope that Adwell Oh, wait a minute, Adwell going in. Happen. Landing right on top of the beam. Average has to force here. Gets launched into the troposphere. And that Uber gets forced out. Beautiful play from the soldiers on the coach's team. Just recognizing that their med is so open. Nobody with that combo. Yeah, and they're the able to they just... They have to give up second here. Yeah, they've got to give FAC too. want to get in. Yeah, I mean, they get that force, but... You know, for what? Your med wasn't building that whole time, and now you've got to give up second. You are able to set up on last at the bare minimum, but you know, what's stopping FHC from just taking that ego dry fight into you, you know? FHC, that was a really good heads-up play. Take advantage of the spawns. You don't have to, you don't have to stack to deny the forwards, because that's what people would normally do. But you have your full entire combo 
throttling it into second and just taking all that ground immediately before the coaches have e any time to set up. Yeah, it, it it is not looking too great for the coaches right now, but maybe process just isn't there. I mean, to be fair, they have ran crits for about like half of this, this exhibition oh, match. Uber. Well, yeah, they're on Uber now, but I believe like half of this game they have ran crits. I mean, the first couple rounds they were on it, if I remember correctly. But, you know, they're they're having fun. That's going to be Shaq jumping forward. They do spot the sentry here. I don't know if they were planning on doing a double sack there. Neil and Shaq going down is not what FHC wants right now. They don't have a scout able to defend oh, their beam as effectively. Ooh, Adwill trying to get in there. But, yeah, he's getting denied by a uh, soldier and a scout. Not really able to get in. That's going to be a rig Oh, my arrow. Did you see? That? Yes, I did. I oh average it just to go. God. He hits those. And what one thing you legend. notice is that the coaches, the coaches had had a double sack to work off against. And you would think, oh, you have two players down. As Adwell does get shot in the head by Neil, you would think, oh, we can push with two players down. But they still have to go against the potential Uber exchange, which No No Way has been not afraid to do. Yeah, No No Way has had no fear uh, trying to make anything happen here, and I think. That's a really big defining factor as to why FHC is seeing so much success. Their players just know what they want to do. They have ideas in their mind. They know how they want to execute it. And they go textbook. They follow their rules, not anybody else's rules. And that's going to be Rick Starling. Oh, the gun's down. Forward, the time for a sec from Rick. Double gun getting taken down there, I believe. They tried to use. rebuild it. It's not working out here. Nobody uses, though. Somehow, some way, SAP does not get forced. And I, there was a prime opportunity for her to drop because there was a soldier spamming from rollout and she was yeah. only 30 HP. Oh, and Neil's getting rushed down by Flugel here. Now with effectively two players down, FHC can't hold this. But they could take an exchange if they want to do so. Oh, but no, no, way. Oh, oh, in on the average. Loses oh. his pocket scout. And, but they're finding the trades is an even two for two trade. And what could have been disastrous for average actually turns out well. A very crazy decision to drop No No Way, but in the grand scheme of things, maintains the Uber, and they'll have another try at this last push. Absolutely. I personally, I think uh, my med would have screamed at me uh, if uh, I dropped him. Or sorry, my scout would have screamed at me if I would have dropped him like that. But uh, <laughs> um, hey. It's FHC. They all know each other. They know uh, whatever their med does, it's probably for the best. That's going to be Juicy. Trying to find his angle in through lower, but it's not working out. 60 minutes. Uh, sorry, 60 seconds, not minutes. 60-minute round, could you imagine? 60 seconds left in the round uh, until it's stalemates, and nobody wins. they got to go refight that mid, uh, also called a mid-reset for obvious reasons. No progressive um, little sad. Flat 30 minutes, too. Ooh, oh yeah, right, we're not on the pro config. So, I guess that's something we can explain during downtime here as well. Uh, yeah, there maybe are two after this separate, round. Yeah, maybe, maybe after this round. I think we're about to see FHC maybe take something in here, because it is 25 seconds. Don't know ways on the spy cam. There's a handsome man sitting on the by five. Too. The decloak cloak comes in. He finds the stab on the Juxi. Is he able to find anything else, though? He's able to walk all the way up into heaven. He redisguises. He's sitting by the gun. They're waiting for the sap call. He disguises. That gun is coming down now. The Federal Hot Dog Committee is walking, and the Uber does come out. It's very, very poor in terms of counter pop opportunity. Flugel going to be walking forward. There's no cap time on top of the point, and I think we're going to witness round reset here. Yes, we will. So there was a way for the red team coaches to know if No No Way was on spot. It's a really good off timing to go spy in that scenario, by the way. Because you would normally expect the exchange to be happening with less than 60 seconds left, but you can go spy as red, and you can go check for the spy disguise class. And for those who don't know, the progressive rule set means that once you hit that 30 minute timer, it's going to be first to whatever is the most points scored in the round from either team plus one. So if it was 3-1 right now, and 30 minutes had elapsed, it would have been, been first to four. But we are not on that config. We're on what is essentially the scrim config where it ends immediately as 30 minutes pass. And as we say, that average is going to get taken down by Juxi. It's an all-out bloodbath in the sad corner on the red side. It's going to be Rick Starlin, the last man standing in that corner, and he's going to get taken down as well. And that's Federal Hot Dog Committee just wiping on mid. Coach's team, I think they've decided it's time to lock in. And No No Way dying extremely late there. Uh, gonna be a little bit hard for 
Federal Hot Dog Committee to possibly contest to or even hold last uh, if the coaches decide they want to take it very quickly. And what you can do if you're Admiral here is instead of maybe trying to go for these ballsy plays, what would normally happen is you would be spotting out for the gun and trying to spam it down early because what that does is if the gun is down prior to an uber push, that gives your team a lot less time or it gives your team a lot more time with the uber to cross rather than spending time dealing with getting the gun down. But in this scenario, the gun has been built up to level three and they're going to have to focus on the on getting get, getting the gun down. But instead, Blood Machine's going to bomb into what is heaven. Blood Machine? With the Uber, they Ubered in. The coach team Ubered in. They don't take down the gun. They're finally getting cap time, but FHC has Uber here. Average is sitting on about half HP, and they're all bunched up by the gun. It's Adwill. Oh my God, Will. He's gonna find the rocket on the shack. He's still alive. He takes down the gun. He's still living. No one looks at him, and that's gonna make it four. Or sorry, three to two in favor of FHC still. But Adwill getting so much value. They thought he was a mannequin with all those cosmetics on him but no we're not in a department store right now we're on process class you know what they thought they saw they thought they saw a spy over there with a soldier mask on blue <laughs> spy with a soldier mask that's what they thought they saw <laughs> but man that's uh that's three two now we yeah have, we have a game on our hands with six minutes left yeah we have six minutes here so I think FHC here, if they want to just irk out the win, they could just hold, but Shaq is going to find that pick on a Blood Machine. Flugel going to be trading him out. Neil going to be able to find that pick on a Flugel as well. That's going to be uh, Doro trying to jump Adwell. in, land on top of it. Adwill so going to be able. Oh, Watch Duxy though. Wait a minute. Duxy. Oh my gosh, oh. that speed shot. That speed shot would have been so goaded. But had he not, he didn't know, but Average had gotten a mini pack. Off of the Adwell Surf, which actually, had he that mini pack not been there, that speed shot rocket would have killed Average. A crazy, a crazy set of circumstances, honestly. Yeah, and uh, as a reminder, there was a little bit of a uh, technical problem earlier, so the score you're seeing on your screen right now is not entirely accurate. It's actually one round off, so it is three to two. I promise we're not lying to you. We would never. I would never. I don't know about Saya, but I would oh, never. Whoa, They're going to take this deep. Uber oh in through heaven. Oh my god, Vizio doesn't give a damn. He's going to bomb forward anyway, and that's going to be Neil getting so much cap time. All they have to do is get somebody off and touch it. It's only the demo on top of the point. It doesn't matter. And that's gonna make it four to two in favor of the hot dog committee here. We need to they question. We need to question their experience in RGL. We have main players losing to IM players. What is going on, guys? We need to question the authenticity of these players on the oh red team. Oh my goodness! Such a shame. Think we gotta. Display. We gotta pull out an audit or something on the uh, on these coaches. <laughs> But, um, There's a fraud alert right now on watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's all a good fun. This is, this is a show match. <laughs> It is a show match. It's all for funsies. Nil's going to get taken down by Doro here. It's going to be Shaq trying to go for the air shot. Will another air shot get hit? Oh, no. It's going to be Adwell barely weaving around. Average going to be doing some crazy movement tech, able to dodge like three rockets that get thrown into his uh, direction. But it's not going to matter as uh, his entire team's going to die. He will get taken down. It's just Vidshiro, the last man standing, waddling all the way to last, the poor 100 health demo man. It's, kind of, it's crazy. It's crazy watching the uh, swing of events between okay well we just saw the coaches get decimated on their last and now they dominate a mid fight and now they're pushing into fhc's last but the problem is converting the last pushes which is hard when you see a sniper on the field and you can see Saf has spotted so they're going to early use and this gun is going to propel blood machine in the air and they still have one of their players on sniper here no no way was still on sniper for a very long time finally coming up on pyro but i I don't want to say them waiting to switch classes for so long was the reason they lost, but I think that definitely contributed because they just, they, they I, I don't know if it was probably item servers or some, something stupid that uh, just refused to let them change classes with the binds because we're not allowed to have binds. Valve sometimes uh, decides that having binds is too fun for us and uh, disables them for 30 seconds at a time. But uh, yeah, I think that last was definitely a little sloppy, a little scrappy on both ends, respectively. But uh, maybe we'll see another uh, another bare knuckle fight mid. And as I say that, that's going to be Doro knocked down to half HP on process uh, on the uh, on the red crate there. I mean, okay, it's just a it's just a nuclear bomb getting dropped so you'll on see mid what right happens now. There, when you, when you're in that grass area, the thing oh, that's really hard. The garden, no oh. way! <laughs> I didn't even see that. I was going to say like oh, don't when you're in that. 
<laughs> when you're in that grass area, it's really hard to get visibility on soldier bombs, which is why you'll see a lot of players as Adwill just DMs out Shaq. It's really hard to get visibility on incoming soldier bombs, which is why you see a lot of teams just collapsing in that grass area because it's so hard to anticipate the bombs. But Ricks, oh, what a new on rollout. Only finds the demo though. I would have expected a little more. Yeah, I would have expected something more. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess we're not going to be uh, having our expectations met in that regard, but that's all right, as Federal Hot Dog Committee is going to be backing out to their second here. In theory. Keeping their meta alive is very important here. Oh, wait a minute. Two I'm rounds. In. Doable in two minutes. you got to roll the second, though. This is true. You've got to roll in. You can't be having any mistakes. And as I say that, throwing Adwell going to be making a nice pairing there inside of Lobby. Going to be able to take down... Uh, Shaq, as well as Adwill, kind of just There's soloing no time to pump the they gotta get going here. Yeah, the they've got, they can't park the bus. They've got to go, go, go. Hold W, no stopping. It doesn't matter if they don't have Uber oh. yet. they got to walk through those doorways. Doro going to get taken down by Neil. Beautiful shot. They know where this sniper is. They're going to Uber in straight at him anyway. They don't give a damn. They're walking forward. No stickies on top of the point. If they're just able to kite around this Uber effectively, they might be able to take home a third round I and make it 4 three, possibly four, 4 I think this is going to be all she and wrote, unless, fun, unless, look at Flugel right now, he's farming, getting two picks on a Shaq and Neil, almost, almost, uh, able to kind of turn that around. Well, for those who don't know, the score is 4-2 right now, with a minute left, it's virtually impossible to get two rounds, but you can still get a round if you are the coaches, so you'll see them go balls to the wall, there is a no such thing as oh they're Eric's already in just... it doesn't even matter oh, Doro's oh my God, dead. Destroyed. oh adwell takes himself down flugel comes in with the sniper though and fight that pick on the average it's going to be blood machine finding fits hero but no no way shaq and rick sarlin just doing so much damage on this point it doesn't even matter juxy on one hp looking for a guard and hitting those b hops shockingly enough uh hitting that point and still hitting those b hops on that sloped surface you have no idea how many times the point has ate one of my b hops but uh 30 seconds left. I think, guys, this is about as close as it's going to get. Maybe I think oh, he's able to steamroll in. Adwill cam. Get on that Adwill cam. Let's see he's what gonna he has. He's going to go for a spoon. Oh, Trust me on that. That guy's Hmm. What's his strat? What is what is his strat here? He's got the gardener out. He's looking towards IT here. And he's gonna be able oh, to find shit. one of the soldiers in here. He does get caught out. He's gonna hit one rocket, two rockets. Not quite able to hit the third, but he oh, misses it anyway. He's Come 30 on, HP Jack. inside of IT here. He comes out and he tries to hit the garden onto Vince Hero. The kaboom dog comes out and it doesn't even matter. And that's gonna be, I believe, that is a 4-3 uh, victory in favor of the uh, Federal Hot Dog Committee. Very, very close. Uh, all things considered, the uh, coaches there, I feel like just having a little bit of fun, not really too interested on, uh, you know, trying out of their minds to uh, win the match. I think I think that's, that's something too. A show match. Yeah, it's a show match. You gotta put on, you gotta put on a show. It's literally in the name. That's the nice thing about about the TF2CC, the TF2CC cast, right? It's like, or the TF2CC uh, show matches, that show matches are meant to display individual skill. And also, like, the basic, the basic fundamentals of competitive TF2-6s, which is what we all saw on display. We saw how mid-fights are played, we saw the concept of wiping a mid, having full uber, and then posting it all the way to last, and... M more stuff that I could probably go on, and the list could go on like a CVS receipt, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of time on the bro uh, on me talking, or else I'd be a certified yapper, but <laughs> that's the stuff that you would be experiencing in the in the lowest divisions of 6s2. If you played an RGL newcomer, if you played in the TF2CC Cup, you'd see something similar like that play out if you were on one of these teams. Maybe not to as refined of a level as we just saw on the show match, but you got to remember, these are I am low mainish players playing it out for you. So you could see what you could amount to if you play this game mode for a little longer than maybe a, a few seasons or so. And some of the players have ri risen through the TF2CC ranks and then made it to I am. I think you are one of the prime examples, Zach. Von Gripper is also one of them and has also turned into your co-caster. And I think there were also a few others. Minaj. Uh, won one of the TF2CC Cups, for example. He's a scout player, and he's playing in IM right now, question mark. I think he played in... He just played in IM. So, I think he just... a lot of people make it through the ranks pretty quickly. 
after the TFTCC Cup. I think we do have the logs here if we do want to take a quick gander at those while we wait for the players to uh, pile into the server. We do have a little bit of time. And and I have great news for the Federal Hot Dog Committee fans. Shellzor. Oh. Shellzor's in the lobby. Before we go into the logs, I also want to thank all the TFT Coaching Central staff for dedicating their time to organizing the TFTCC, uh, the TF2CC Cup. So for those who don't know, this is a show match for the TFTCC Cup which is basically we pair up competitive TFT players with a significant amount of experience. Like these players here, they've all played in IM or main to some degree. And you get paired up as a completely new player to competitive TF2 with five other newbies, just like you. And you go through this little uh, month of training to try to learn the fundamentals of sixes. And that all amounts to a one a weekend cup. So on August 30 and September 1, we're going to have this TF2 CC cup played out in its entirety. With Bond Gripper and Zach, my co my caster here, casting it with a few fireside people on production. One of them going to be Antlers and maybe me, depending on if my flight home from Korea doesn't get delayed. So it's going to be an insane wash. You guys should mark that on your calendar August 30, September 1. Watch the TFTCC Cup. It's going to be good. All right. Well, it's time. I'm just saying. You don't want to miss it. It's, it's such a fun thing to watch and cast every year. It was fun to play. I remember my first cup. I didn't win any rounds at all, and I still had a I, I still had a really good time. Uh, my second cup, I ended up going third place, and then my power went out, and uh, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, looking at these logs here, if I no if no we just oh my goodness by DPM alone, if we if we want to take a gander, just how much individual impact in terms of damage blood machine is sitting here with 340 uh 17 5 and 15 at almost 10k damage uh almost 10k higher than no no way but no no way uh really really putting in the work if you look at the kills here really doing the job description of scout justice as a cleanup crew as the janitor um 35 14 and 16 is diabolical to say the least yeah and that guy is, is currently on the third place main team right now in playoffs playing with the uh, soup can team so you you expect that level of play from him it just sucks that for the most part maybe his logs don't look as insane because for the his his team was on the back front of getting bombed constantly in the midst and there wasn't really much protection from the scouts i feel like but that doesn't that shouldn't take away from his uh overall logs i would say yeah but no no way is the is the shining ray of hope right now in these logs because the 35 16 stat scoreline that's insane that is yeah. insane. yeah i mean you filter it by kills alone he has 13 more than the second highest person it just, and that's by kills alone you filter it by deaths he's in the middle i mean he's balancing everything so well it's insane yeah think well about he's it. balancing he's like balancing it on his finger tape he's got like a basketball on his finger he's like spinning it around and just balancing it perfectly it's, this is a guy it's who insane tried to carry the uh amateur sandbagger heck and and despite <laughs> them despite them not winning that amateur season by grace of god thank god the sandbaggers didn't win this guy did make it to im playoffs he he did make it to, i before i believe or maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. No, he's, I mean, he played in Maine, yeah. He's playing in Maine now, I believe, for Yari Ashigaru, which didn't make playoffs. But, you know, yeah. this guy is cracked. This guy is pretty goaded, pretty awesome, pretty beast from what we've seen so far. But enough with these logs, I think. I, I think these guys are just waiting on us to uh, be able to get ready. I'm not sure. Uh, might be going live here soon. Oh, got wait, a, we need, got we need to, uh, I'm going to predict one event that will happen on this mid. I'm going to guarantee that Juxi will get a spoon. Hmm. I predict, uh, Adwill, Romer rollout, high bomb off of his, uh, little, like, house wall thingy there. Gonna go into the stratosphere, come down, Goomba stomp the beam, and then hit a laggy hit reg spoon that does 65 damage and still somehow kills the beam because nobody turns around and looks at him. Okay. I think that's what's going to happen. 
I'll bet you 10 fireside points on that. Ooh, a steep bet oh! make that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Rick well, we, heard! Rick I guess it would be a spoiler to admit, but I didn't, I didn't guess the right side in the right player. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Juxy's gonna get taken down there, and it's Adwill sitting inside of the saw. Uh, gonna be able to find that kill onto No No Way, trading out, <laughs> dropping easy in chat. Easy, I'm better, remember that. <laughs> hey, we need to think about it for a second. TF2CC Admin wins his own show match. Is this show match actually rigged for the Federal Hot Dog Committee? We need to answer <laughs> these questions soon. Get the X Files team run in. I mean, this is a is very this where we get the fireside documentary team in and we like do an expose on TF2CC? How they rigged the show matches? <laughs> Maybe his bullet spread is less and his damage is actually more than the scattergun. He could have rigged the server for himself. There's no <laughs> way he could have gone 35 and 16 in the first map. <laughs> he edited his like weapon file to do one extra damage. <laughs> it's like a Mr. Beast video. This is all CGI from No No Way. All these damage <laughs> numbers, it's all CGI. <laughs> Alright, well, that said, it's gonna be, uh, Flugel taking down Shaq, Neil gonna be able to find that crater onto Blood Machine. It is Saf, she's very weak, sitting on top of Shaq here. Uh, with two players down on the side of Federal Hotball Committee, they're gonna have to sit on two, kind of just chill out a little bit, lean back, maybe, uh, you know, pull out a, pull out a drink or two, get comfy as they sit on last, and you guys probably gonna be, uh, probably gonna need to get used to, uh, seeing some... Stalemates on Snakewater second, because that is what this map is known for. So one of the things that's really prevalent in these last holds is, if you look at, at the red defending side, there's a, this gun is not in the middle, but it's in the general vicinity of where you would put the gun, which is what we call the Banny spot. And the reason why it's called that is he popularized that Banny himself. And what makes it so OP is that as long as you have it in that spot and you have the soldier locking down drop down, demo holding bucket door, and the soldier holding the lower doorway, it's essentially impossible, unless you have man treads on the other team, to get a good bomb in. And you'll see the team try to work a sniper here on the side mm. of blue. And you see the hero swing from Neil and the taunt from No No Way, but he might get punished for that. He's on 26 HP, but will be living getting out there. Yeah, he will be living, able to barely survive at the bare minimum. And another thing I think is important to note about this Danny Sentry is look at the angle it forces soldiers to peek out to spam it. You have to take a double soldier spam angle through lower here. You know, it's just not possible uh, to do it otherwise. But Neil Sniper in lower trying to find that nice little angle, maybe go for find a hero shot here. or two, I'm not too sure. Uh, could maybe, yeah, find Adwill. It's, it's possible. I think he knows about the sniper inside of drop down, though. He does. He's trying to spam rockets over towards it. He drops down, trying to combat Shaq here. The teleporter, teleporter down. does get taken down. That means you gotta push in. No telly means you gotta go. You gotta go, go, go. The dispenser armor doing God's work. Oh, here we go. Wide swing. Oh, oh my god, that was so close. 50 on the medic. And that's Just gonna a little be bit of buff, and that would have been a headshot. Too. Oh, it's looking rough for the side of. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning. That's so the reason I did I did mention the mantras is that the mantras doesn't suffer any bu bullet knockback. So against the sentry, you would still be having that forward momentum of the rocket jump. And Grape Juice from Global Clan and Invite had been a huge innovator of the mantra sack because of how good it is at breaking these really choky glass holes like Metalworks and Snake Water. So the only reason I suggested the mantras was, was because of how Grape Juice popular popularize it but we see a heavy instead so they're going to go for an exchange fhc and then they're going to bring in the heavy in the post exchange so when well, you know something something else oh never mind hold on hold that thought for me bits here landing on top of uh shack here he's going to be able to take down that gun but it's taken the whole uber the Buddhist does come in in the post he is going to eat a whole pipe and a half uh, that's going to be Blood Machine getting knocked up into the air. Uh, Flugel getting taken down. The Buddhist doing God's work here, getting a lot of damage, patting out those logs. He's oh going to be able to find gosh. that pick on the sack. And now it's one soldier on top of the point. Vizio are going to be able to debt in time to take down Adwill. It's now just Juxi getting taken down from Rixarlan, from Dude, above. And now so Doro on top of the point. Blood. Solo. Now Blood Machine coming in. So much damage. They hold. There we go. Oh. That's the third place main demo right there. It's oh, a, he, I mean, he, he stayed true to his name. He's a literal blood machine. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 
there was a lot of blood that got spilt uh, on that last. That's that's definitely uh, man. That's rough for FHC there. That's a mental breaker. But that 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 exchange couldn't have gone any better for them aside from winning the round downright itself. It's yeah. really desperate to go for those uh, stalemate or close to round end exchanges, especially when there's a gun up. So props to them yeah. for getting as far as they did. And especially, they almost capped. I mean, it just took like a extra second or even half a second maybe of cap time and they would have won. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, getting wiped uh, by stickies and the scatter gun, just too much damage coming out for, you know, that many people in a small area to deal with. But as we say that, Adwill and Flugel are dead on this. And so it is two players down for the coaches and they are going to opt to leave uh, going to be holding their second instead. And now FHC has a mid that they have... Uh, confidently taken away from the coaches it is even oh, Shaq is in. that's a uh -oh. really really Shaq, play to that's an ambitious bomb getting that beam down to 52 though yeah but going ahead before they even before they least expect it but adwell he misses his his skip jump through salt and you can see adwell does like to go for these jumps but he's also a pretty good jumper main himself so i'm not surprised that he tries to go for these really innovative sacks most of them do involve the speed shots from him so yeah well i mean i guess while we have downtime here uh well nope we might not have downtime it looks like better hot dog oh it's a going. Curse of the caster. oh yeah this is an ambitious bomb coming out from shack here gonna be able to uh possibly help his teammates a uh, little down blood machine and uh, get that free pick but neil and shack are both dead ubers pop at the exact same time it could not get more even than this but federal hot dog committee has to flash so many more people so it ends up being worse it is food wants it. in though now both scouts and the on the side of coach uh oh he's ready Juxi. for the sandwich Adwell's so coming in they from gotta the fight their way out oh my god oh my god Adwell. Adwell. oh my god <laughs> He will give oh you that ad. God. He will give you that numbers ad. He, he will, will kill the medic. That ad, no matter what ad it is, he will. He he's gonna will it into existence. That's what he's gonna do. And uh, I mean, he bombed in high, two downward direct rockets onto the beam, takes down uh, shells over there. Oh, I mean, it's looking rough for Sarlin. Yeah, trading out for Dora there inside of Kitchen. Not the best trade in the world, but you'll take what you can get, especially if you are uh, up players now uh because of it excuse me i don't know why i'm yawning so much no worries Google's gonna die here he's isolated oh alone. my god and blood machine. <laughs> i didn't see that where was adwell he's going for more he's gonna do the bunny he hop. wants the he wants the smoke oh my god dude adwell so, just loves those spoons man so he he came in uh through i believe his side of mid he came uh through the mm -hmm. little uh lane between shack and the wall and uh, he jumped up top right, and as I'm saying that, it's gonna be Shaq going down. Neil and Shaq, nuclear combo. Shaq oh, going down on his own exchange. That's a drop for the side of the coaches team here, but it is full player ad for them as well. But as I was saying, you know, uh, top right yes. from perspective of red, he was on top of that. He just jumped down and smacked. He just smacked Shelzer upside the head with the spoon. He, uh, just uncontested. Gave him a little lag. Black yeah, like give, him little, give him a little, give him a little, I don't even know how to like recreate the sound of the market gardener, but <laughs> um, gave him whatever you would consider the sound of the market gardener to Dude, be. These ones are giving the coaches the world, but they're not capitalizing on the space at all. Yeah. I mean, FHC just gave them like, that was like a, a whole, a whole ass like estate amount of land. You could have lived on the amount of land that uh, FHC gave the coaches, but they're not going to capitalize on Oh my god, the double sticky jump into mid going to be trapping off the enemy team's demo. Blood Machine still living, takes all three lock pipes. Uh, as we see here, Vids here has actually swapped to the lock and load uh, Heavy for this game. Heavy in forwards. So uh -oh. this could be a pincer play if Shaq falls and more parts of the plank go down, which should be Neil going here against Blitz in a 1v1 that he is coming out on top of does manage to win that fight and now you have an an enemy that has infiltrated the red battlements this could be a really in good place for neil. neil here 
He's jiggle peeking around that corner. He is spotted, at, or maybe they're just being, you know, shooting paranoia rockets. Who knows? It's Rixel and there's like the heavy out of the forwards. <laughs> it's the fat scout. <laughs> He's got the grill. He's running in. Adam's gonna get taken down. No. Kinda, I anticipated that. It's gonna be Flugel walking forward, trying to find something. It's gonna be Shaq right on top of Flugel from behind, taking him down. Now two players down for both teams oh, here. Nice pipe. Oh my God. Shaq getting thrown into the floor and taking himself out, trying to rocket jump there. Very unfortunate for the FHC fans. And now it's Juxi in behind. Has a great angle on anybody who wants to come in uh, through Saw. Um, they don't want that smoke. They don't want that smoke, the coaches. Yeah, they it's don't only want Admiral that. who wants that smoke, but he's not going to find the spoon. Ooh. Instead, he's going to lose his life. Unfortunate for Adwell. I mean, now they're down two players. They need to get in. Actually, they're down three because Juxi's still technically behind. So, Federal Hot Dog Committee here just has to walk in and they have a free last, essentially. Now, all of their players are alive uh, that can defend last year. I think Juxi is getting ready to. Oh no, Juxi just died as I say oh, that. Oh no, but Blood Machine is just locking Wait, down this point, preventing yeah, any Blood cap Machine is going doing through. way too, way too good of a job at uh, preventing FHC here. And that's the over. Pistol down Adwell. Ooh, this is looking bad. It's 75% Uber for the side of FHC here, but uh, they do opt to back out instead of commit to that fight, unfortunately uh, <clears throat> for them. Fortunately for the coach team, though, they don't have to worry. <laughs> oh, poor Flugel uh, walking into a crate trap. I personally would have died in the same exact thing. <laughs> But they could be recommitting right now. You have full Uber at, you know, you yeah. just got the force out of the coaches. So you're going to see them reroute the saw, and this could be an element of surprise coming in with the Bids Hero Bomb. Bids Hero landing on top of bridge. Oh my god, it's a nuclear angle. Going to be able to find that pick onto Juxi. Well, caught in cheese. Now they find the pick onto Adwill. They're going to be able to walk into last four free. It's all they blood machine. Two. Scout doing the God's work, making sure that point is capped. It's now Blood Machine. Going to have to resup through spawn here, hiding over towards right side. Now, Two players dead, one player just spawned in. It's now, oh my god, I heard that hit rag ruin his spoon. I believe that was, um, I think it was Rick Sarlin who went in with the yeah. spoon. He heard the hit and he got hit ragged, which is very unfortunate. There was a crit, there was a crit. Did he? So we only hear the hit rag on the client. Okay, okay. Really? Huh. So, new mid, FHC, they're up, Shelzler the glue has back, and now they're as adhesive as Elmer's glue. Damn Wait, man. no, it should be cohesive, right? Not adhesive, I'm stupid. What am I, I saying, think, Yeah, man? cohesive, I think, is, uh, I think is the word. But as we say this, Rick Sarlin is looking for an angle to try and get up on the right side height here, but instead they're going to opt to just spam from their uh, little perch, I mean, I don't blame them, it's a very good angle. They're oh, going to be able to land on top of the beam. It's a double bomb coming out from the side of Federal Hot Dog Committee. It's Vince here walking forward, trying to get anything and oh, anything, everything he possibly can. Oh my god, Ad, will you get, keep getting away with this? And now it's going to be uh, oh, Juicy no, no bombing way. forward. No, no way uses, though, uh, across mid. Possibly going to be able to find that pick on Adoro. No, they won't. He gets away. He's oh, too man, slippery. But all, they're all swarming uh, upon uh, them. Uh, it's just uh, Shelzer. Oh, oh, no. So oh. Joker, man. <laughs> He's a genius. Actual savant dropped in chat. Um, don't think Federal Hot Dog Committee was too fond of that Uber. <laughs> but, uh... Oh. It is the Mets' decision after all. Shaq tries to bomb in. Very ambitious there. Not quite able to find anything. Neil able to find that pick onto Adwell. So it's not all for nothing. But uh, they will have to give up second here. They won't be able to hold this at all. And it's going to be full Uber ad for the side of the coaches here. So hopefully we'll see them take this in and uh, not beef their push. So one thing we'll see here is that the default push for Snakewater is most teams will try to go in from the second into lower and then go through the shutter here, which is the default push. But you got to use through the shutter first or else you'll, you'll see a bounce there juggled at the doorway like Blood Machine did. They do get the gun and they do find an early pick onto, a, onto Neil. And there's a lot of damage being output by Blood Machine. I think that was like a 600 damage combo from the Sticky and Pipe that allowed everybody else to clean it up and get the round. And the thing that you want to avoid too if you're FHC, as we saw there on stream, is that cutting everybody through the spawn door would result in 
getting collapsed upon with spam just like that. You want soldiers, soldiers to spread out and be able to be able to be ready to bomb that point, but unfortunately, losing Neil there kind of just was a domino effect for everything collapsing in that defense. Yeah, losing Neil there is definitely a, a crucial pillar that ended up getting knocked down, and the foundation came crumbling with it, uh, unfortunately for FHC there. But that is going to be Rick Sarlin finding that pick on to Blood Machine. Uh, they are going to find Shells or Doro uh, being they. Uh, going to be able to take down that beam on the side of FHC. So it's not looking all too bad for the side of the coaches here. They are living. Uh, their beam is actually all the way out to their uh, lobby. Wait a minute. Neil is teetering with, with the potential 1v1. Oh. Finds the demo instead. More than he could have hoped for. Yeah, that was an ambitious play, to say the least. I mean, they did it. You get the demo, which is very beneficial. It does give them a little bit of time. It oh, no kind of staggers the uh, push from the coaches no, no here. Way. Wait a minute. No, no Jumped way. over the head. He's beeping. He gets the <laughs> Oh, my God. A little, bit of, a little bit of style points for jumping over Blitz's head there. You'd love to see it. He jumped over the guy's head, right? And then beefed four shots. At that point, you have to use... Because you know the next one is going to hit you. It's like a law of the universe. The Like, the last one always hits and kills you immediately. Jack is going to find that pick onto Flutal, though. Getting a hot dog committee a little bit of a window to come in. And they are sitting on full Uber ad coming into this last. So, hopefully, uh, for their sake, they'll be able to uh, just get in and kind of avenge that first push we saw. No gun is set up. It's completely locked down on the oh, right no. side. Vids Hero getting taken down, though. The Uber wasn't able to catch up to him in time. No, no way. Being taken down as well. Juxi and Saf going to be taken down, but so are Neil and Shaq, and the push is already over. It's over as soon as it started. The beam, Jalzor, on the side of uh, FHC, does live for now, but I think they are getting bombed by Ad... Or, sorry. Yeah, that's Adwill there. Tries to go for and the Adwill garden. And will sacrifice, and Shalzor gets out safely. Yeah, Shalzor is going to be able to get out there. Uh, that's about all you can ask for in that situation, honestly. That's... That's about all there is. I mean, <laughs> you you die, but your beam lives. It's you're still and on they ad. You're on like a 30 ad. That's oh crazy. my god! And they might find blood machine here. They don't no, find no, blood wait, machine, but blood. He smells oh, it in the water. No like a shark is going he, in. he just fed us off. But he takes him down anyway. Oh, he can't keep getting away with that. That is insane. And now Rick Sarlin taken down by Neil. Federal hot dog committee. Just caps the point. All they're gonna do. I'm telling you. Double UK. TF2CC admin wins his own show match. Totally not suspicious, man. <laughs> it's not we real. Gotta oh my this. shells were walked straight onto a pile of five stickies. Almost dies, but doesn't get dead on there. Thankfully for uh, them, they are able to get uh, the most value out of their reverse possible, but they do end up dropping Shaq, Rich Arlen, and Vid Zero, and Neil. Oh my god, it's another beef push. No, no way. Being taken down as well, and it's I don't think Shellzor has the mobility to get out here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dude, Adamil just completely ignored her and tried to rocket jump kill them. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Oh, he, didn't, he didn't sense her aura. He didn't sense the aura. He he didn't see the need to uh, use a rocket to kill him the conventional way, I suppose. But Vids Hero and Rick Sarlin gonna be able to find a picks on Dodoro and Adwill respectively. Shaq uh, is in on the medic! Uh oh, Shaq. Not quite able to get what he wants there, but that's all right. As Federal Hot Dog Committee, it is even players. They could send in one more and then just back out fully to two, which I think that's what they're gonna do here. Rick Sarlin looking for an angle, jumping up high, contesting top right. Finding a nice spam angle. They hear that Sap has uh, Uber now. I'm not sure if they uh, want to stay in for this. And it looks like they do. And I think Hot Dog Committee is going to wipe here. Because that's Blood Machine taking down both Shellzor and Vids Hero. And I I think... I think... Uh, no I think no here, Way wants this. No No Way wants to take a fight but here. Let's saw... No, he the didn't. Salvage. He was looking within the direct. But it said No No Way has a free oh. beeline towards the medic. But thank God everybody else was there. You have Jukesy there to clean up the mess that his team left. And they do keep Saf alive. Personally, I don't know if I would have went for the med there. Because, you know, they've already used. You could probably build that out, make it a little bit even, just kite around that Uber if they use it to you. But 
I'm just a caster. I'll trust their instinct, and that's gonna be the coach is gonna be about halfway, about 75% actually cap time. We will gonna be taken down by Shaq, but it's gonna be Blood Machine finding that pipe onto Shaq. Rixarlan finding a nice rocket onto Juxi though. Uh, it's not going to be enough from the coaches to get in and actually secure a round dub. So with 10 minutes left on the clock, they're coming Ooh, in with that early use. They use in very early, the 50% gone as soon as they uh, reach the point. And it's another 50% drained as they have to flash everyone and their grandmother to keep them alive. But it's Hero able to lock down the point. I don't Hero's know if he's part of the healthcare plan anymore, though. <laughs> Adwell gonna be able to take down Neil, still Juicy. somehow living. Shoot oh no, this it's only 65! Oh my but god! But gets a speed instead! Oh my god! I know for a fact Shelzor is screaming at their team right now. Because I would be. If I knew that soldier was living in our spawn for that long without getting shot at all, <laughs> I wouldn't be pissed. I wouldn't be fuming. I gotta say, though, early on, I think that last push could have been won, but they pushed in before they had Uber. They had, they knew they had Uber the whole time, but... Ooh, Adwell's going in. Wait, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's trolling. That's, he a, bait a, troll for, that's a bait for the bomb from Shaq from Pipe. A really good bomb from Adwell to bait, bait out that bomb, that uh, sack. And now you're down a soldier, and if you're fast enough with the build on the coaches, you could go on this, but unfortunately, they'll have to try to get this Uber and then try to use it immediately. So they, when you're in these... 25 or like small ad situations you gotta be buffed up and be ready to pop out right as soon as you get uber so they're gonna be looking to pop out right as they get the super which is just now but they're taking their time yeah they're taking their sweet time for this they want to structure a push that's 50 percent gone already they flashed everyone uh now uber fading federal hot dog oh with uber in hand insta repop now all they gotta do is sit on top of the point and prevent anybody from getting in. It's Ad Will on top of the point, very weak. Vince here are gonna find that pick onto him. Juicy jumping forward and it's all of FHC wiping shells or the last one standing. Not quite able to defend the points all on their own. They are just a humble medic, so uh, damage is not exactly a uh, strong suit. But. Yeah, you can see what I was mentioning there about the small ad is that if you don't go right off the bat and you don't make it a, an intention to kill the medic immediately or try to get on point, you could get the uh, you could see the other team getting uber like we saw there but blood machine did a really good job of doing so much damage before they got the uber and getting a few ki kills to boot yeah it, it definitely it definitely seems like uh fhc kind of knows what they want to do when they're holding but it it isn't really boating too well for them they kind of crumble as soon as they lose someone especially when it's a as hectic of a hold as that where they get uber and then it's like all right guys i'm hitting right click the very frame i see 100 pop up on my screen so good luck uh, i hope your monitor's uh refresh rate is high enough to respond in time <laughs> at that point you gotta have like a 600 refresh rate monitor i don't think they know about adwill in lower jumping in behind trying to get an angle onto fhc here while they're sitting on full grad he is spotted he's getting out through africa but he is going to be picked up by no no way here and now the coaches Pulling back onto mid, uh, nothing to really, uh, nothing to really say for it. Uh, nothing to write not gone down about. They could have set up for a pressure spam for a force or a counter sack, but yeah. now you're just gonna lose Flugel and sudden. It's a snowball effect. At the very least, they do have Adwill spawn up in forwards, but they will be holding on bats with only four players, and Adwill is kind of redundant, sitting they inside of forwards, waiting here. Tap is alone. Oh no, this could be bad. Oh, but she does link up. She does link up. Yeah, now. they do link up. They might be able to find the kill into the Pudis, but no, they won't. Just barely able to uh, resup mind and get all the way to last. Uh, thankfully for the coaches there, uh, Adwill does not uh, explode instantaneously uh, through the demo stickies, but. It is looking uh, like holding is going to be rough. So Federal Hot Dog Committee recognizing that they're going to be play, uh, they're going to be playing by lower here, waiting for the coaches to come in, trying to bait out as much time. I do uh, not know no way. What happened uh, there? He just walked into like the flank and saw and just got shimmered on or spotted I, or bumped into. He, I I guess he bumped somebody or maybe he maybe he disguised before the CGI was or something. CGI. <laughs> Yeah, 
some, something like that. But the Uber does come out from the side of the coaches. They're going to be walking forward into the choke of the Federal Hot Dog Committee. The uh, counter pop does come out. Vids here are bombing forward, trying to find Great anything, but they're not going to be able to find any kills. Zaf is able to get out there. Adwell possibly going to be taken down here. Maybe, maybe not. Going to be able to live. And now it's a recommit coming in from the side of the coaches here. They're, uh, they're going to be able to take down Flugel down in the uh, lower area here. But no, no way gets taken down as well. It is even players. So FHC could fight this if they chose to do so, but their positioning was so poor in that post that uh, it would have been really difficult. And I think uh, they're just going to opt to uh, give Adwell getting pressure by the, as by much the as possible. Yeah, Adwell getting taken down there. Not something that uh, the coaches want to see happen, especially when it looks like this would have been a prime opportunity to have somebody oh, bomb Juxi. in from the side. And now it's Juxi coming in high on oh, the top rope, no! beeping the spoon. So close, but so far, three players down on the side of the FHC on the bright side for the coaches, but now it's two players down. Uh, one player just spawning in, uh, coming up now. I believe this is going to make it a 3v3 on this mid if FHC decides they want to take this pass. Oh, but I don't think they Adwell. know about Adwill. Adwill coming in from behind the kitchen. They hear him rocket jump, but I don't oh. think they notice. He gets no. in. He misses <laughs> the spoon. The force comes out, though. Shells or fear pops as they see the spooning soldier come forward. Jack aura, chasing man. though. Jack gets the gun. Yo! <laughs> oh my god. There's a lot of there's a lot of flower power fields being made right now from these soldiers, man. Yeah. Certified gardeners and from both sides. I mean, they're putting that trowel to good use, I can say that much. Ah, jeez. Um Jack is uh, playing up inside of a uh, red cheese right now, which is a very nice position to have, especially when you just want to spot uh, into their kind of left side. You want to see what they're holding, but you don't want to peek it as wide as a. Uh, you don't you want to peek crazy. it as wide as you would on bats. W what's I just, crazy? I just realized the core members of the FHC they use the wiener dog hat, like on shells right now. Oh they yeah, have the, they have the they have the, the doll. They got their own team of cosmetic uh, coordination. Yeah. But that said, FHC is going to be using in here. Uh, they're going to be kiting over towards the left side. They're going to be able to find Adwill in that uh, Uber as well. Google is going to get taken down as well. And now it's a lot of cap time coming out from the side of FHC. Nobody on the side of the coaches is able to reach the point in time to contest it, and that is going to be a lost round for the uh coaching team uh federal hot dog committee now tying it up two to two i'm not you sure what the it. protocol is for a tie game but we move on to the next map I does it it just ties no golden cap huh okay but right. wait 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 so you see what's what's the beneficial part of like playing the point immediately with the nuber you force the team on the enemy side to immediately play the points you corral players into your own damage so that's why Playing the point in an uber push is so crucial to baiting out other players to their own demise. Yeah, it, it is absolutely a necessary thing to have happen. And as we say, that mid-zero is uh, going to be able to take down Blood Machine. Uh, he peeks a little too far forward, walks over a couple stickies, and uh, pays the iron price for it and gets taken down uh so no demo to hold second here rick sarlin gonna be beefing their bomb a little bit i think bombing it on like 30 hp but it doesn't matter they don't care they're gonna hit a rocket on doro anyway and now federal hot dog committee with full uber but oh, that's a uh, spoon oh attempt gosh, coming in from there well yeah too many style points trying to but juxi can pinch here maybe yeah juxi could pinch but it doesn't matter. Now, Federal Hot Dog Committee does force uh, with Juxi caught behind. Actually, not caught at all because it's only these two players. They kind of just have to leave. There's not really any incentive for them to stay and try and get any picks. Hopefully, Shelter oh, no, is able to work out. Oh, oh my God. God, Rick Sardalin almost taken down. That was a get down Mr. President Wait, type Neil beat. Sniper and lower. Will he be able to find the angle is the real question right now. Yes! Yes, he does! He finds that angle on the sap, and he's going to take them down. And now, uh, again, probably going to be full Uber ad for the side of Federal Hot Dog Committee. They're going to be able to find that pick on the Flugel as well. And uh, Rick Sarlin kind of just solo holding uh, Saw right now. The bomb attempt coming in from Juxi to try and uh, meet him in cheese. But unfortunately for Juxi, Adam that is will? not where they landed. Adam going to be able to find that pick onto Rick Sarlin. But I don't think it really matters all that much as Nono Way is able to clean them up. And now it is a four player advantage. Now three player advantage. Left. This is going to end this high game. Yeah. 
But it's now you're, you're just time. looking for the stats and the highlights right now. So let's see what happens. Oh my god. Well, Pluto Savage just walks really forward. The <laughs> they just sack this out forward. And now it's a it's an all-out bloodbath on top of the point. Shells are left alone. It's going to be Dora finding that pick onto him. Juicy finding a pick onto Vince Hero as well. And now the match is over. And that's going to make it 2-2. Two two, uh, high game here. And because it's an exhibition, it doesn't matter. Because we're just going to be going straight into uh, Bagel. 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 I like my bagel with some ricotta cheese on it. Oh, I I haven't had a bagel in a little while, actually, now that I think about it. I just like, haven't eaten bagels, like, all that It's much. the same thing with me. I, just, I, I don't eat bagels. I don't really eat pizza unless it's, like, offered to me, you know? I don't yeah. go out of my way to buy a bagel or a pizza. I only, I'll only mooch off of it at, at, at my uh, work conventions where they offer it for free. And then I just grab, like, three Pyrex containers and stuff it all with the food and take it home. Because yeah. otherwise, it just goes straight into the waste bin. So might as well help in the efforts to reduce food waste. Absolutely. And, of course, we do have the logs for Thank this uh, snake water we have, game. We need to put and invest. We need to look at no-no waste logs. We need to investigate this. <laughs> if he plays well again, I'm opening up an investigation here. Well, no-no way does go 24, 8, and 20, dropping a 240 DPM game. Uh, Blood oh Machine, God, of Blood course, Machine. topping the charts with over a hundred damage a minute more than the uh, second place damage dealer, which is Strange Diplomat at 278, uh, Blood Machine at 385 with 3,000 more damage total than, or sorry, yeah, no, 3,000, 3,000 more damage than uh, Strange Diplomat, which is, uh, <clears throat> man, that's, uh, Ooh, that's rough. But it is rough. They tie uh, at the bare minimum. It's a show match. It's a show match. Maybe these guys are just trying out new ways of play style. So you're they about to have some the, wonky stat lines here and that's there. That's true. They got to pull up the MIG special. They got to pull up the quickies. I saw that in the advanced upper bracket, uh, in the lower bracket grand finals. It was on Gully Watch on the map three, and they were able to get a med pick because. The more you charge the sticky, the quickie bomb launcher, the more damage it does, apparently. Ooh. So they this would combine sacks with that, and they would have the demo spam stickies over it, and it eventually resulted in the drop. So, hmm. That's so tech but yeah, I didn't even know. It's now with the lock and load, it's kind of been more prevalent, but not with the quickie bomb launcher. So it was new tech that I learned on that very day. So. I agree with you. I, I'm pretty much in the same seat as you. But one thing that I want to mention, guys, is a TF2CC Discord, which I just put in the chat. Join the Discord if you are a new competitive TF2 player and you want to learn how to play competitive sixes. You have no background. You're a literal newbie. While this is the safe space for you, you'll be playing with a bunch of other newbies that are just as new to competitive TF2. Or you can play in the newbie mixer server, which is, uh, as of 39 minutes ago, have started their Friday weekly pugs which is you get into a mumble server i believe still with yeah they use mumble. 11 other newbies you get two coaches and they will teach each play player in each team their role and how to play the map and how to play sixes so go join the discord my boys and girls and go learn the new world of competitive tf2 that might be new to you but i've been in this community for a long time i love sixes so go tune in True. Sixes is objectively the best format. I will not hear any claims otherwise. Uh, I won't even listen. I'll plug my ears. I go, la 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 la, I can't hear you. Even try and tell me that something like Highlander is better. Because uh, does Highlander get a newbie cup? Do they Do they get a, a every other season cup? Hey, they got a every YouTuber cup. They got That's a true. They do cup. have that. They do they have the, that. They got the cloud cup. I will give them that. They do have that. But... Sixes has a newbie cup where we get to watch literally like some of the most some of the most baby players ever to people that kind of know what they're doing. We we get to watch these. It, it's surprisingly a wide range for the limitations that are on it, just because there's so much room for raw mechanical skill. Um, it's. A bit odd uh, how it worked. I'm not sure 
how it goes uh, in terms of you know who they decide to play but i do know uh every or about every summer and every winter you know maybe give a couple weeks uh wiggle room for that but um i i don't well, think done. uh we have time oh, okay. to uh cover the remaining map of bagel i don't even think they're going to play this unfortunately so uh yeah, uh, wait, hate I, to... I actually do want to. Uh, I do want to do a quick shout out for our uh, our memberships. I got. I got to plug Zach before before we uh, do any closing things. But of course, shout out to course. our memberships, guys. Use your Prime subs on us. We just recently went to land, and with the help of your subscriptions, we were able to fund our own Airbnb and take photos and do interviews at the recent RGL land. So go to the link in the chat command or use your Prime sub on us. Doing that allows us to fund our future expenses, like future tournaments. Uh. Funding future Airbnbs or travel and lodging expenses to go to future lands. And we also use it to make go to videos like the Witness Gaming Highlighter documentary video, which part two is currently under in the works. So make sure to subscribe to us. We really appreciate it. And thank you all to funded to those who funded our trip to land. Thank you. Sorry, Zach, back to you. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, unfortunately, again, we're sorry, cough fans, but uh, we're not going to be able to see Bagel. But uh, for those of you who are new, uh, don't know what Bagel is, just load up Cauldron. It's the same thing, but not halloween -y. Uh <clears throat> But that said, we're probably going to have to close it here relatively soon. So uh, final shout outs, of course, uh, big ups to Dr. Underscore on the production cam, uh, goated production as per usual uh and of course shout out to you for uh stepping in when uh bong gripper could not make it today uh unfortunately uh for them they did miss out on a couple uh some some crazy spoons i will admit uh would have been nice to see them just lose their mind over it but um and of course shout out to uh tf2cc uh, newbie mixes, of course, as Sayo just said a little bit earlier. Uh, if you want to go over to newbie mixes, they have started their uh, weekly Friday mixes. Uh, all of the information you need is in their server. I don't know if we have a command for the yes, newbie mixes do. server. We got but, it right uh, there! Exclamation mark newbie! Hey, there we go. Every Friday night at 9 p.m., 9.30, uh, you add up, you join a mumble, you get paired with five other random people, and you just Play a pug of sixes. Um, beyond that, of course, again, shout out to TF2CC for uh, giving us the opportunity to cover this show match. And at the same time, uh, giving Fireside the opportunity to provide some coverage for the actual Newbie Cup, which you guys will not want to miss once it rolls around. You said it was like August August 30th, September August 30th 1st? and July 1. August 30th and July I mean, uh, September 1st, sorry. Not July gotcha, 1st. gotcha. August 30th, September 1st. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere and make sure to mark that those dates on your calendar. Thank you all. Have a good night. We'll see you soon. Next week, that is, for our RGL coverage. Bye.